yourselves up in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. being busy in any way, just settle in. This is what we're doing right now. spirited because our job is still to pray for our president yes. amen. amen and when the Holy Spirit cautions you to do something you just make the adjustment right away amen amen amen, amen. father we thank you and we bless you we bless you because you know us and you know our down sittings and our uprisings you made us now in this time, impart to us and send forth a clear and concise word to these your people. And we thank you for what we're about to receive. We thank you that you've given us another loaf. Bless your name. Hallelujah. And so we thank you for it. We thank you for feeding us from all high. Now, Lord, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And they all say, Amen. Amen. Today we want to talk from the subject. And I gave it as part of the definition for Kairos last week. Divine favor meets divine opportunity. Divine favor meets divine opportunity.
And here again, we're going to put up the, the definition for chronos and then the one for kairos. And you might hear people say kairos or kairos. It's, it's okay. Chronos, again, and this is revisiting last week, and this is how I started last week but then we're gonna go in a different direction, but we're gonna still talk about Kronos and Kairos time as it relates to divine favor meets divine opportunity. Everybody stay woke, stay with me. This is gonna be a blessing to you. Amen? amen. amen. I need more amens than that. Amen. Amen. All right, all right. Kronos refers to clock time. Clock time. Days, weeks. 15 years, 20 years. That's chronos time. Time that can be measured in seconds, minutes, hours, and years. We use it in words like chronological. Chronological. Chronograph, which is what a Rolex, a very expensive watch is. Chronograph, it's the way it measures things. Segments, time. We see Kronos in every graveyard. Although it's a place of an ending or a sign of an ending, on many headstones is a beginning date and a, and a death date, a, a birth date and a death date. And, but, but normally in between is not your biography or bibliography or whatever. It's not there. It's not a write-up about you. They don't have enough stone to write your whole life on. But what's there is a dash. And the dash stands for your chronos, your time. Amen. We're living in our dash right now. It's all the dash you got. So you better dash the best you can. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Are y'all out there? Amen. The next one is Kairos. It is qualitative. Quality time. It measures moments. The right moment the opportune moment, and even the perfect moment, yes. which is what we're going to talk about today, some perfect moments. Kairos moments occur when, say those last words with me, divine faith meets divine opportunity. And then I want to jump in here and say, leave the definition and go on to this statement, when Kairos meets Kronos, miracles happen. And, 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 and I've been listening to different people and talking about Kairos, and it's not a new subject, but it's a pervasive one. Talk about Kairos and, 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 and getting believers to develop a Kairos life. That you, you live from Kairos moment to Kairos rather than from tragedy to tragedy. Yes, my Lord. And from this. From, from, from heartache to heartache is in the chronological, but Kairos moments come to interrupt what's been happening around you. And how many can stand sometime a day when it seems like all hell is breaking loose? God, I, I need a Kairos. I need an interruption to yes. this. I need an interruption in this day. I need an interruption at, at, at work right now. God, just jump in and do something. Ask for it. You have a right to it. Ask for it in the middle of a hell. My Lord. Yes. Amen? Amen? Ask for it. Ask for it. Pursue it. Today we're going to talk about two elderly people because sometimes we can think that, that, that our time is running out. Mm. Women who get nervous about their time 
get married a little faster. And women don't go off on me. You, 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 you run to find somebody because your biological clock is, is ticking. So you don't wait to be found. You, you, you help the process. I'm going to find them while I'm in Kronos. Because you don't trust the kairos of immediate blessing that God can drop into you. And there's no, no reflection, no way. I'm just, you know, we just, that, that, that's how it kind of works, y'all, a little bit. And guys operate in Kronos so much till they don't, they don't know when to operate. They don't, they, they don't know when to, they, they good thing has appeared. And they good thing is a, is a Kairos moment. It don't happen in the places that you think it's going to happen. You, you, you see it and you, oh, there it is right there. But divine favor has to meet divine That's when it happens. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's talk about two elderly people. Two elderly people. I started to make a bad joke there, but I'll, I'll have to repent all over again. I'm just not going to go. I'm just going to stay. Two elderly people. Zacharias and Elizabeth. They had no children as, as Elizabeth was barren. That's what the Bible says. Just, just background until I get to the scriptures we're going we're gonna to run through. Zacharias was a priest. It was his time to serve in the temple at the altar of incense in succession, meaning that he had his days to come in and stay at the temple and serve and, and, and light the incense, lay it on the altar, make sure it kept burning. It, it burned continuously, so, so there was a shifting of, uh, of, 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 of priests that came through regularly. So, so the incense would always be going up out of the temple as a sign of continuous praise of Israel to God. And, 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 and that's why you come to worship, because you need to send up some incense continuously. Yeah, I don't know why you, we think it's an option, but in, in sending up uh, incense, it's optional. Sending up your praise is optional. It's what you got to do. Yes, 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 yes. It ain't, I'm tired today. I, you know, well, stop breathing today. But <laughs> it's that simple. Be tired enough to stop breathing. But the point still remains is that this was his job. And, 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 and so while he was at the place of worship, that's when an angel stood on the, 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 the right side of the altar and spoke to him and started telling him some, some, some things that were going to happen. What he was really telling him is there's going to be an interruption in your, you and your wife's chronos and God's getting ready to drop a kairos moment on you all. Your, your, your wife, Elizabeth, is going to... Well, first of all, he said this. He said, your prayers have been heard. That's good news. If an angel shows up and says... You, you know what? You can almost take it to the bank when, you say, when, some, when an angel show up and say, your prayer's been heard. Yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Your prayers have been heard. How many would that be great consolation to know once you pray that an angel just dropped down by you and say, oh, by the way, I came to tell you that your prayers have been heard. That's the first good news. But then he said, and your wife, Elizabeth, is going to have a child. Is going to have a child. Remember, he said, your prayers have been heard. They're elderly, so they've been praying for years. But he didn't talk about Elizabeth's prayer. He said, Zacharias, your prayers have been heard. 
Now, both of them were praying, but he let them know, God heard you. And where did he show up to give them the news? In his worship. While he was listening up to pray. You don't have to get a, a, a praise on, but you don't have to get a notification either. Maybe something will change in your life if, while you praise it. <laughs> he just drops something on you. Oh, by the way, since I'm here with you because you made a habitation for me, you, you, in, you, you, you in the room with me. <laughs> it's paid off today. It's handled today. Start feeling for the lump is gone today. Stop, stop feeling for your, your hip or your leg. It's, it's, I, I did surgery today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How many of you can stand for a Kairos interruption, right? And, and interrupt some stuff today. Hey, hey. We get so set to be religious until we can't be godly and we can't do what the Bible says. You know, I, I want to do what the Bible says. Yes. I made a mess of some stuff, but I want to do what the Bible says. Yes. Right. Right. As long as I'm thinking about it, it's going to be a mess. Yes. I'm going to appeal to something that thinks better than I do. Yes. That knows better than I do. That ain't akin to feeling, because some days I feel like a nut and some days I don't. Yes. This just might not be your nutty day, but you have it. But Zacharias almost missed it. I was making the point. He had prayed. The angel had made an announcement. But then in the same breath, hearing all of this. See, you got to believe until it show up. And when it shows up, don't disbelieve. When you got word that is getting ready to change, do not disbelieve. Zacharias almost missed his Kairos moment because of his response to the angel. This is what he said. Now, this is the angel. Didn't come from earth. How can this happen for I am an old man? And my wife is it well advanced in years. Why do we keep telling God what he already knows? He knows where your stuff is. And we act like we have to give him a notification. We're constantly saying it. Then the angel said, everybody said, then the angel said. Then the angel said. This is the part that was, would frighten me. He said, let me be clear. In case you didn't know who I was. I am Gabriel. And I stand in the presence of God. I'm just not anybody. Oh, you thought I was just somebody that... That, that happened to wander near the altar with a prophetic word for you. I am Gabriel. And I stand in the presence of God. He didn't say I came from the presence of God. Even while I'm talking to you, I'm still... Standing in the prayer. Oh, you can go to sleep if you want to, because that's why we don't get it, because we. I'm standing in the presence of God while I'm talking to you. Because they have that ability. In a moment of a second, they can deliver something and be in your presence back and forth, back and forth. And so it's like they never left, but they never went. They never left, but they never went. They're standing now in the presence of God. Where do you think this came from? So in order to stop 
the kairos that would happen in the life of Elizabeth and Zachariah later, he had to shut his mouth, so he rendered him mute. Don't talk. Then the angel told him to name the baby John. That was earlier. Name him John. I don't want you to name him. Etronisha. Or Terra for Indy. Name him John. <laughs> because I'm attaching something to that name. Are y'all out there? Yeah. And he shut him up until the baby. <laughs> Sometimes God has to shut you up. So he can deliver something to you. Just get wise enough to say, okay, I, I believe. It's going to happen. But see, see, the thing is, Zacharias read the, the scripture and he, he knew what happened to Abraham and Sarah. Why did you have a memory lapse that, on, on the ability of God? And that same angel, Gabriel, who still was delivering message over in the New Testament, he, he was the one that showed up back then. <laughs> and, and guess what? If you sent up some incense, He might show up for you. Yes, yes, yes. Don't run because he don't look like nothing you ever seen before. That's why he said he have to announce himself and say, don't be afraid. <laughs> Are you out there? <laughs> okay. Luke 1, 11 through 15. That's the background. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell on him. This is, this is what we just talked about. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, for your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. I'm reading this so you will say it's in the Bible. Yes. Yes. Pastor created this story. It's in the Bible. I want you to look at it because faith come by hearing. Amen. Uh -uh. And so, 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 so moving on. Uh, 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 I, I want to say, reading down some, just skipping down some. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will be great in the sight of the Lord. This is a great thing. And, 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 and shall drink neither cavassier. <laughs> Nor Alice say. <laughs> I just did that to wake you up, you know. <laughs> Neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. And if the say of Zacharias had, 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 had metered into the chronos of the future, it would have stopped the whole process. Yes. Hallelujah. So God had to shut his mouth so he wouldn't cancel his own self out. Yes. And sometimes you need to shut up so you won't cancel your own self out. I got this thing. If it sounds stupid in my head, it'll sound stupid when I say it. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Have you ever said that to yourself? You said, that's crazy. Y'all yeah. yeah. yeah, know it was crazy. Y'all yeah. don't even want to admit it. I'm looking at you. You know it was crazy. This is a Kairos interruption in the life of John and his wife Elizabeth. The Kairos miracle is that Elizabeth was barren. 
was barren. You must believe for your chronos to be interrupted by kairos moments. In the same season, Luke records another chronos interrupting kairos time. Now this was John, but 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 God hinges everything together. Yes. One thing leads to another. Yes. See, if Zacharias hadn't got, he hadn't shut him down, it would affect this next Kronos and Kairos moment. Yes. Yes. Let's go to Luke 1, 28 to 35. Now, this is, this is dealing with another person that is having her own unique Kairos moment. Yes, yes. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Here he is again. Say, Rejoice. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord is with you. And he said, Blessed are you among women. But when, he, when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, don't be afraid. Come on, come on. When God comes to tell you something, he tells get the fear out. Get the fear out, because if you don't get the fear out of the counsel of your faith, don't be afraid. Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Again, telling them what to call him. Because his name is attached to his purpose. Call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the son of the highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, this is out of her innocence, how can this be since I do not know a man? Amen. See, Mary's question is a little different than what Zacharias was doing. See, See, John was going to come through the natural way. But Mary said, I, I, I've not known a man. How was this going to happen? And the angel answered and said to her. Notice he didn't shut her up. The angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit. Everybody say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. This is the one time that the Holy Spirit did this. Everybody else got to the planet the other way. It's the only time. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now, I could take off and talk about why it had to happen that way, but we don't have enough time for that. Again, Kairos interrupted the Kronos of Mary to deliver a miracle to her. This is a miracle. Yes. And it interrupted her young life. Her young life. Luke 1, 36 through 37. Now, indeed, after she got the news, this is what God will do. He'll send you somewhere to help you. And he won't send you to just anybody. Notice who God is getting ready to send her. He said, now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this now, the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for, who was called barren. He's sharing Elizabeth's testimony. He said, and then he goes on to say, just in case you didn't know Mary, while you're thinking, how can this be? He had to double back down on her and say, for with God, nothing No thing 
will be impossible. Boy, if we could just get that. For with God, nothing will be. Nothing is impossible. It was no accident that, that God would deal with these two cousins. Mary needed something from Elizabeth, and Elizabeth needed something from Mary. Mary, again, was 16 years old and could benefit from the steadying guidance, strength, and understanding from her cousin, who Elizabeth, Elizabeth, who was quite a bit older than she. So he sent a young miracle to an older miracle. Because the older miracle had some life experience. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And both women had intertwining faith. Both women had intersecting Kairos moments. Both women needed their faith strengthened for this time in their lives and the future. Yes. There are three takeaways from what I just gave you. Number one, God will confirm your miracle through another miracle. Number two, God will increase your faith for miracles through someone else's miracle. You see somebody else's miracle, you start believing for them. That's why all the old faith teachers, they told one faith story after another. This is what happened. God supernaturally done this. They, they did it until I started saying, I like your old stories. I like y'all stories. they wonderful stories. They, but what it did, it, it, it birthed the appetite in me to say, God, I want my own story. I want my own Kairos entry. I'm glad that that happened to you. I'm glad somebody gave you a million dollars. I'm glad they gave you this. I'm glad they paid this off for you. But I want my own story. See, I, I want my own Kairos moment, I, you know, so I can tell my story from my perspective. Uh, so I won't have to repeat your story when I preach. I can say, this happened to me. Come on, come on. Anybody want your own story of deliverance and breakthrough? Tell God, I want my own story. I want my own story. God. Some of you got one already. Share that story over and over again. God, come on, anybody got a story already? You got your own story that God did this for you. He jumped in. And here's the fact. You weren't always worthy of it. But he still gave it to you. You weren't always right. You weren't always where you needed to be. But he still did it. He did it for two things. To help you out yes. and to help you up. Amen. Yes. Yes. Number three, God will strengthen you to receive your miracle through another miracle. That's what happened with, with Mary and Elizabeth. He strengthened Mary to really receive her miracle through Elizabeth. But it was something that was going to happen that was going to confirm it for all of them. And for everybody. Here we see a Kairos moment in action. Everybody say in action. In action. Luke 141. And it happened. Everybody say it happened. it happened. When Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary. That the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled. With the Holy Spirit. <laughs> she didn't tarry for it. She didn't have to wait in the upper room. The Bible says. She got filled with the Holy Spirit. Come on. Just because. She encountered something. That was bigger than her miracle. In the life of Mary. Because what she ran into had the Holy Spirit without measure. And he was just a small embryo. And she was down the way in her pregnancy. But the babies knew. Whoa. Whoa. I just ran into God. 
And he started, they said he leaped, but I believe he went to shout. <laughs> the first praise that came to Jesus in the earth was from his cousin John, and they were both in the womb. Oh, that was the first praise. He said, I'm going to show you what you do when you encounter Jesus. That's why you can't uh, uh, go in for abortion because. Jesus was only an embryo then. But he was embryo dash God. <laughs> so the, the best thing... A, they could say it, the baby leaped, but the baby shouted. Yeah. He gave his mama a fit. So much of a fit, she just started saying, Oh, she got filled right then on the spot because of what had happened between them two babies. Anybody getting anything yet? Because I think I just got happy all over. So when you try to act like you don't want to praise, you're too tired to praise. When a baby that can't even say da da and mama recognize who Jesus is and start shouting before he get out the womb. Somebody say praise God. <laughs> give God a praise all over this room. <laughs> Come on, you better give him a praise all over this room. You out of the womb, give him a praise. It's out of the Luke 1, 42 and 45. I'm almost done. I got to just run on this. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, after she got filled with the Holy Spirit, then the spiritual gift kicked in. Yes. Word of knowledge and word of revelation. Yes. Both of them kicked in at the same time. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, blessed are you among women. Yes. Notice all she did was say, hey, Elizabeth. Yes. She didn't have time to tell her the story. Hey, hey, cousin Lizzie. Come on, come on. Peace be within your gates. <laughs> That's the usual greeting. Peace we be within your walls. But she didn't know she was. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me? Says, was say, Oh, I don't know how I got this lucky. How did I get this blessed? Blessed is the fruit. But why is this granted to me? That the mother of my Lord, how does she know? Well, it was after the and some shouting kids. For as she said, for the, the mother of my Lord should come to me. For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ear, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. So he going back to when the angel, she went back to when the angel spoke to Mary and said, girl, just be blessed for believing. Yes, yes, yes. Believing what God told you. Yes. Don't you doubt no more. Don't ask how can this be. Be blessed for believing. Yes. Give him a praise. Sir. Some of you all in this room, just get blessed believing. 
You want it, but you won't believe. There's a blessing in just believing. Not talking about it, but believing. Whatever word God gives you will be confirmed by a witness in the earth. And when John came out, he was full of the Holy Ghost, walking in the spirit of Elijah. He was a rough neck. He didn't come as smooth as Elisha, his mentee. But he, 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 he was rough. And he, he told everybody, prepare the way. I'm not it, but one's coming that I won't be able to untie his shoe. I already met him in case y'all don't know. And I've already worshipped him in case you don't know. And I'm going to close with this. Mensa Odable, Bishop Mensa Odable says this. A time will come when an opportunity of a lifetime will present itself to you. When that time arrives, the question will be whether you will grab hold of the opportunity before you or let it pass you by. Seize your Kairos blessing to you. find two people and tell them seize your kairos. It's time. Come on. Mm. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. I didn't dismiss. Just do what I told you to do. Bless believing. My God. This was the whole loaf of bread today. <laughs> Eat all of it. Some of you like the middle slices. Many of you like the ends. I'm telling you, eat the whole thing. If you are in this place and you haven't surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, he's come to make you leap, to make you happy, to be your savior. If you're in this room and you haven't submitted your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you can do that. Be saved. He came seeking to save that which was lost and he's still doing it today through the mission of the church it's okay to be saved it's okay to be in the Lord if you need to be restored back to the kingdom of God pastor I've been out for a while I just come on back because his love is never waiting you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit that's available to you, wherever you are. We just talked about two people that got filled. Oh, God, it's available to you. If that's you, wherever you are in this room, just quickly, you want to be restored back, you want to be saved, you want to become a part of this house, you want to be filled, any one of those calls, just lift up a hand and say, Pastor, that's me. Amen. Amen. I see your hand. Anybody else? Come on. While the church is praying. Don't wait. Don't wait. Oh, God. God. Hallelujah. 
You know you need to be in them. Come on. Come on. Young man, young woman, boy, girl, man, woman. Oh, God, God, God. I'm talking to somebody in this house. A couple people make that decision. Just slip your hand up, come out of you. He loves you right where you are. See? I need to be in the kingdom. If you can honor me and do this next thing, if you raise your hand for any one of those calls that you didn't, but you want to, it's about believing God to make a faith move. Doesn't matter who's in this room. All of us came the same way. Trusting and believing God. You're blessed for believing. Come on, not enough of you praying. You're watching, but you're not praying. Oh, shake up. decision. 